Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Bailey's Last Mile. And as you might be able to tell, it's dark outside. As always, don't touch your phone while driving. It is dangerous and illegal in many states. And I have done it in the past videos. I try not to do it. And you can scold me in the comments if anyone ever watches these. So I've switched to a night shift. This is going to be the first one you'll see on a night shift. And that's what I'm going to talk about, is adjusting to sleeping night shift. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this camera, shut the cabin light off, and move the phone a little bit, and then uh, we'll get on the road. It's not really dark there. Adjust that a little bit. All right. So, uh, yes, I have adjusted to working. I've worked 8 to 5 for the past two years. And now, all of a sudden, I am working a night shift from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. Literally the exact opposite of anything I have ever done. And it's been a challenge. I've only been doing it for about a week now. Um, I'm coming up on my second week now. it would be about a week and a half. It's Friday night and I started last Friday. So yeah, it's actually a week now. Um, so I have uh, today, for example, I got off this morning at 8, 8 a.m. Actually, about 8.30 because I got on a situation that I had to deal with. It took a little bit long. And that guy's lights are really bright. And uh, went home. Now, my plan is to go home, go to bed at around 11, and try to sleep till like 6. Give me six or seven hours of of sleep. It's about average. Um, I slept till one, and it was too hot, and I woke up and couldn't get back to sleep. So I slept from eleven to one. So if you can do the math, that's three hours of sleep. And I'm headed into work now, and I'm going to work. And then I'm going to get off at eight a.m. and try to drive home. That is going to be interesting. So. Uh, basically it's kicking my butt now all my friends told me you know jobs that they've done and I've worked overnights before and eh, saying it takes about a week to two weeks to adjust I'm hoping my sleeping schedule does adjust because I'm one of those guys I need it really cool in the bedroom to sleep it to sleep um, and it's not cool in there right now I mean I'm talking 73 degrees and when it's above 85 outside the heat pump does really well keeping it at 74 75 but keeping it 73 or cooler it's really got it's really struggling and it's going to cost me a lot of money <laughs> <coughs> but I'm trying I've also been fighting a cold so I'm not really fighting a cold I've got this cough that won't die that I've had for like a month and we're off. Everybody's driving around with their damn bright lights on. That's something that I'm noticing at night is that, like, when you're on a one way like this, where you're just behind somebody, people aren't considerate of the fact that they have bright lights. Like, you're going to be watching this video. If anyone watches this, you're going to be pissed off as hell at the video. I might actually turn this around and record the, the front of. Go, fucker! Good lord. Jeez, man, this guy on my right was hauling butt right up until I, he gets up beside me and then he slows down. I might record the front drive, the, the front of the hood, even though I've got the dash cam doing that, just because the lights from behind me kind of blow out the shot a little bit. So, but I've been adjusting to this night shift. It's it's been interesting. I'm hoping my body starts adjusting pretty soon. I don't want to end up with that non-24 or whatever where your body doesn't know when to sleep. 
So my hope is, is actually this night will do it because the other night, I, the other day I had the same problem. I couldn't sleep when I got home. So, but instead of going to work, I called in sick on Wednesday night. Yeah, I didn't go to work because it just I was like, ah, oh, I didn't get enough sleep. I'm not gonna go to work. I should not have done that. I should have toughed it out. I should have gone to work. And then the next day, the next morning when I got home, I just would have crashed. So that's what I should have done. It's not what I did do. It's what I'm doing tonight. Now the same thing. My body wants to sleep until about noon at the most. It won't let me sleep past noon or one o'clock. It's only three hours of sleep. I've been able to get myself to you know lay back down in bed and go to sleep around four or five on some days, and then I'll get another three hours in there, two to three hours in there. But splitting it up like that, I don't feel like I'm getting enough rest. I'm not getting a full six hours. You don't get, because it takes your body a good maybe hour once you're asleep, maybe a good hour before you hit like deep REM, um, before you actually start getting restful sleep. Anywhere from a half, I think I, I think I heard anywhere from half an hour to an hour. So I need to get that restful sleep, and I'm just not getting that with that, you know, two and three hours of sleep. So, I'm hoping that forcing myself to work through being excruciatingly tired tonight, which I'm not excruciatingly tired at the moment, but I will be. Um, I am hoping that it will force me to sleep better tomorrow. It'll force me to sleep till at least, hopefully, like three or four. Just please. But in any case, that's it for Bailey's last mile, and uh, stay tuned for more of these because I need to entertain myself on the last little bit of my drive into work at night, and because I can't do it on my way home because it's mostly freeway, I don't have a spot to pull off and start the video, and so it'll be night, Bailey's last mile at night for the most part. There may be the occasional, you know, there is a gas station I stop at sometimes, and it's about 15 minutes from there to home. Um, that I might do it during the day, uh, but I plan on doing these, uh, well, every once in a while when I got something to talk about, like being excruciatingly tired as I am tonight. Um, I might, uh, occasionally if I have, cause the dash cam is rolling as well right now. So I might at some point. If I ever get anything interesting on the dash cam, I'll do a Bailey's Last Mile intro like this, and then I'll edit the uh, the video together and put it up on YouTube with you know whatever I capture on the dash cam. So I've got a dash cam running whenever I'm driving now, um, and that was kind of the point of this too, was to try to capture interesting things. Um, mostly, I just capture people being annoying, and that's normal. Anyone who drives ever does that uh, but also I drive so much now because it's an hour each way I drive two hours a day um, two of them work total so there's a lot of stuff that I can capture or might capture at any given time so but anyhow that's it for Bailey's last mile hope y'all enjoyed it click subscribe if you want me to you want to hear me yap some more uh, put in the comments what you might like to hear me talk about. If there's any, you know, I, I've considered talking about you know, politics and things like that, but everybody talks about politics. I'm a tech guy, too. So here's another thing I'll put forward to you. If anyone out there in Facebook land would like, or Facebook land, YouTube land, whatever land, Twitter land, um, I might start putting these up on my Common American page, too. i got to debate how I'm going to do this moving forward. Um... But the uh, I might start putting these up and um, you know do, doing a topic, uh, picking an actual topic. So if anyone out there has suggestions for topics, uh, put them down there in the comments section. Uh, hit, hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that it uh, shows you my posts. And I'm going to start posting regularly. Um, and you can just see me driving to and from work and hear me yap. Um, the problem with talking about politics is everybody's right. I'm right, you're right, we're all right. We're all all right. Hello, Wisconsin. But that's you're never going to win an argument online. And anything that I say 
can and will be misconstrued. And uh, the one thing I have going for me is that I don't really lean one way or the other politically. I'm a moderate, which actually drives everybody crazy. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm, I see, I, I, I tell you this, I see both sides of every story. Anyhow, I meant to click stop on this video about four minutes ago, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Y'all have a good night.